so these next couple of videos are all going to be about access looking at using access to create databases um, national 4 national 5 and then getting into the more difficult stuff at higher but first of all generally best to start with the basics getting started now on this version of access when you open up you get a screen uh, like this loads of things that we don't really um, have to bother with it right now I would always just recommend going to blank database now in this version of access you have to give your file a name now, it's really important you give it a decent name proper name and accurate name otherwise you'll be looking for it forever uh, you know make sure it's relevant so we've got whatever you're doing in it some link to the task that way you'll be able to find it when you're searching for it you're calling it task one over and over again you end up having dozens of them and you'll never find them so name them properly that way you'll know where they are and also in access you get to choose a location for where you want it to save in your version at school or at home make sure you save it in a place you're comfortable getting it back from so that would be your part of the drive usually accessible via um, this PC, my computer, find your part of the drive and then save it in there I'm just going to put my on the desktop for now you create it and it creates a basic database layout for you Now, hopefully yours goes much quicker than mine and you get Windows 10 things seem to run a bit less quickly than they did before now the whole point in databases databases are all about just storing information at National 5 putting information in manipulating information creating reports creating forms queries but I want to start with the fundamental basics so we've got fields up here field names and down along the toolbar here you've got your set square ruler and pencil and in the old version of access you always go through there to set up your field names and field types and that's what I'm going to suggest to you you do this time as well this panel here is a bit new I think it came in in about 2010 versions you always have to click on this drop down arrow and make sure you've got all access objects selected otherwise you can hide things that should be there for now we don't have to worry about anything. So click on our area here, on our ruler, set square and pencil, and go into design view. Design view is where you establish and create and build. And I'll save the table as I'll just call it getting started again. You could have several different tables saved into this one. So again it's important to have reasonable names. Unless you're told otherwise, you can always take off your primary key. Unless it says you have, you must have one, take it off. You don't have to worry too much about them just now. So field names. Field names are what, what the data you want to go into that that field, that specific type of information. For instance, if you were going to have a database, you know, based in school, a bit like your school records, you might have first name. And the data type this dictates the kind of information that can go into that cell and once you select that type no other type of information can be entered so if we select short text and then after first name clearly in surname it should be short text as well and then age your age as quite clearly number now, those are really simple field types you could go in and add a lot more like say address then you could have town and lastly you could go through postcode that just makes address easier to manage this is just an example. Every database may well be set up differently. So all of these ones would be text apart from age, which would be number. And just to explain something to you, if you were to have, say, for instance, telephone number, 
Oh, let's be consistent. That's something I should have pointed out there. When you're establishing your field names, consistency is very important. Everything should be as it was before. You, if you've got all in capitals, then again, everything has to be in capitals from that point forward. Be consistent in how you establish and create your field names. And then we'll close code. The last one, telephone number. Yeah. Telephone number, you might think, would be number, but no, you'd make it text. Because um, with a phone number, all area codes and mobile numbers generally start with a zero. Access sees the zeros at the start as being irrelevant, so it takes them away. So always make it text, that way you can put in text and numbers also. Once you've established your field names, you click on View and you go to data sheet. Yes, we save it. And then it opens up. And here is where you begin to create your database. You have field names and field types. And this is where you in would input the data as you went through. So someone's name, age, address, telephone number, so on and so forth. All you have to do is make sure that all the data is visible as you look through. You have to look for no spell mistakes in your field names and field types. Now, there will be more to follow. This was just the basic, uh, basic in getting started. If you have liked it, please like and subscribe. Thank you very much.